Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Force with some more Hearthstone. Today I'd like to provide you with a brief guide as to how to defeat the heroic Naxxramas bosses. I have gone through and cleared all bosses and while there are a variety of ways to complete this, I wanna tell you how I did it, but also give you just some general tips and tricks and strategies and things to look out for when facing off against all of them. So let's start off with the first one, Heroic Anubra Khan. Uh, he begins the battle with 45 health and his hero power turns from a 3-1 Nerubian to a 4-4 Nerubian for two crystals. So he is going to be constantly pumping out these large 4-4 minions, which as you imagine, for two crystals, getting a 4-4 in play that early on, that's gonna be a hassle. I found the best tactic for this is to run a deck that has early game control, stall, or removal, and then a very strong mid to late game, because this deck has a very hard time of dealing with large health minions. So a couple of cards in the deck that are of note include the Crazed Alchemist, in which he'll swap the attack and health of a minion. He's got a decent early game with cards like Death Charger, the Haunted Creeper, and even the Neurobar Weblord, which will increase the cost of Battlecry minions. Some of the prime cards that you can use to your advantage include the Death Lord, a 2-8 taunt with a death rattle of when it dies, you get a minion from your deck randomly, then placed into the battlefield. So again, if you are running a deck with lots of large health minions or just big late game minions, the Death Lord as a three drop, when you can kill that early in the game, that could potentially be a game winner right there. So we're gonna have a lot of big health minions, control the board early, uh, keep an eye out, you know, Abomination's gonna come into play. That alone should deter most people from running an aggro deck because that would clear your entire board. Uh, also later in the game, keep an eye out for Locust Swarm or even a Shadow Flame as a good way of clearing a lot of low health minions. Once more, it, it just seems like to combat this deck, the best bet is going to be late game, high health minions, something like a hand lock, which is what I particularly used, uh, taking advantage of my hellfire or even using a shadow flame. Uh, you could do any sort of early game board clear, but again, you're gonna have to deal with those four health minions. So something that could potentially deal with that, a, a spell powered, a spell powered hellfire, for example, is a perfect response to those four, four minions. So basically after I handled the early game, continued to focus on board control, I was able to move into the mid to late game, get my big giants in play, get them with taunt, and then from that point forward, it was pretty much just GG. And the next boss we've got is Heroic Grand Widow Feralina. She also begins the battle with 45 health, and her hero power goes from a two cost to a one cost reign of fire, which will fire a missile randomly at you for each card in your hand. So with that hero power in mind, your best bet is going to be run a deck that has you dumping your hand constantly. Any sort of a rush down, a zoo deck, anything like that that has you with few cards in your hand as early in the game as possible is pretty much going to be a guaranteed win. This is a fairly easy boss to defeat if you keep that in mind. Uh, some cards to keep an eye out for. The Worshipper can be pretty scary. It's going to be a 2-4 minion that will give her plus 3 attack and she can have multiple of these in play. So killing those pretty important. Try to avoid the Nerubian eggs if you can, although she does run Hellfire so she can kill her own Nerubian egg and get that 4-4 in play. And the Hellfire does mean your creatures will die if you're running a zoo style deck, but the good thing is that Typically, this will also kill most of her minions, not all of them, as it won't kill the Worshipper, it won't kill the Dancing Swords, but if you've done any damage to them whatsoever, then her board is likely to be cleared as well. The deck also runs Necro Knight, so if that gets in play, uh, wait till it's next to another minion, kill that, and then you're good to go. Early in the game, keep an eye out for the Death Charger, as that will get rid of your early game minions, but even though she's got ways to deal with some early game minions, I still found the best bet was to just run Zulok. I ran a uh, taunt heavy modified Zulok, specifically throwing in uh, throwing in some of those early taunters like the Void Walker, like the Shield Bearer, and it was it was straightforward. It's probably the easiest heroic victory that I had. And for the final boss in the Arachnid corner, we have got my Exna. Starts off with 45 health and is easily the hardest boss in the wing. The Web Wrap goes from a three cost to a zero cost 
which will randomly return two minions to the opponent's hand. Very important to keep in mind, this is an auto cast and can be easily abused. You're gonna want to use creatures that have effective battle cries at either removing your opponent's creatures or keeping you alive, which is the strategy that I went for. Uh, some things to keep in mind, there are going to be many haunted creepers in play. And the best strategy that I found is to try to fill the board and focus on killing anything that has more than one attack. So if you can kill one of our haunted creepers to get two of them in play and then leave those two one ones in play, you're good to go. An ideal situation is for your opponent to have six one attack minions as well as a single Nerubian egg as an O2. What this will mean is you'll be taking six damage a turn and you can offset this with some battle cry minions that will allow you to gain health such as the earthen ring farseer. Uh, now for this particular matchup I decided to run a control warrior with those battle cry minions that would allow me to stay afloat armor up and basically just stall the game out as long as possible you want to set yourself up in that situation where you're taking as little damage a turn as possible and then just wait until you get to the late game throw down something like alexstrasza now on the flip side i've seen other decks work like a control deck that just is meant around stalling something like a freeze mage uh, but i really found this to probably be the most effective and most reliable strategy um, yeah it just worked incredibly well and i was able to win after my second attempt with this control warrior style deck it's worth noting that while you're in the process of trying to set up your opponent's board position and to have them only have certain cards in play you're gonna have to potentially deal with cards like a sea giant like a spectral knight large health minions that either can't be targeted or just have a lot to go through so any sort of creatures you can get in play, charge creatures that can remove those easily or just hard removal will be your best way to get those off the board and then fill the rest of the board up with those 1-1 one -one attack minions. And that is pretty much going to do it, my friends. Hopefully this guide proved useful for you, going over some of the basic strategies behind the various heroic bosses. Uh, I'll show off the deck list for the three decks that I used in particular, but another big useful resource for you will be Reddit. I'm going to give you guys a link to both some regular decks as well as some uh, inexpensive cost decks that you can use to go through these. Uh, people have used a variety of strategies. I just wanted to share with you basically what worked for me. Thanks so much for watching. Watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Looking forward to the new metagame with the introduction of these Naxxramas cards. Uh, really excited to see how that shifts things up. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. I'll see you guys later. Hope you have a great day. Keep watching and keep owning.